Hello children, in our last session we had started with chapter 2, our food, in which we had learned that food is a basic need. We also learned that how food gives us nutrients and energy, the different types of food and the sources of food, also the different methods of cooking food. Now, in this session, we are going to learn more about different utensils and appliances used for cooking food. There are different types of utensils for cooking food. The first one is the pressure cooker. Pressure cooker is used to steam or boil vegetables or meat. The second one is the wok. It is a large bowl shaped utensil commonly known as kadhai which is used for frying puris and samosas. The third one is a pot commonly known as patela you usually see in your house. It is used for steaming or boiling milk rice. The fourth one is a pan. There are three types of pan children. The first one is a flat pan commonly known as tawa. It is used for making chapati and crispy dosas. You love those yummy taste which your mummy makes for you, isn't it? The second one is a shallow frying pan. It is used for making cutlets, stir fry vegetables. The third one is a deep frying pan which is used for frying puris, samosas Now we are going to learn the cooking appliances and fuel. Children, what do we mean by appliance? An appliance is a device which is specially designed to perform a special task. Like the following appliances are specially designed to cook food. So the first appliance is a chula, which is also commonly known as shigdi. It is made out of bricks and mud. It requires wood cow dung cake or charcoal as a fuel. Children, we usually see chula in village or rural areas. The second one is a tandoor. It is a clay oven which requires wood and charcoal as a fuel. The third one is a stove. There are two types of stoves. The first one is a kerosene stove which works on the fuel kerosene. And the second one is a gas, which we see in a house which requires LPG, means the liquefied petroleum gas as a fuel. Then the next one is known as a solar cooker. It uses solar energy, means the direct sunlight to cook food. And the last one is a microwave oven. It works on electricity which helps in baking, cooking and grilling food. So, now let's have a quick recap children. The first point is, we have learned in this session, some food items are cooked while others are eaten raw. There are different methods of cooking food such as frying, boiling, steaming, baking and roasting. We use different types of utensils such as pressure cooker, wok, pots, pans to cook food, LPG, kerosene, wood and charcoal are some of the fuels used for cooking food. Some of the commonly used cooking appliances are chulas, tandoors, kerosene, stove and gas stove. So this is all what we have learned in the session children in this chapter. Now there is a small activity for you all. You are going to visit your home kitchen. And with the help of your mummy, you are going to observe the different types of utensils which are available in your kitchen. Okay, and then you are going to differentiate them and tell the different uses of those appliances. Okay, children? So students, with this we have completed with the chapter Our Food. Read the lesson thoroughly as reading is very important. Solve the textual exercises of page number 183, 184 and 185. Stay 
फिट एट होम ईट हेल्दी एंड टेक केयर ऑफ योर